I've always wanted a 1920s wireless. Mainly just to see how they worked and how they were to operate. Well let's find out what these sets sound like on a modern wireless station and played through a reasonably good speaker instead of the horns and uh, paper cone speakers of the 1920s. I think this 1940s uh, Pyrox Victor projector speaker might sound okay. It's got a little tweeter there to boost the highs a bit. And uh, it's matched through a transformer. We've only got about 200 milliwatts to play with so you need a fairly sensitive speaker. So let's see what, uh, what a modern radio station sounds like. Power it up, put on the low tension, 4 volts from an accumulator and we'll wind it up with this potentiometer so I don't shock the 90 year old filaments. I meant to run on 4 volties. That should be OK. OK, let's see if we can catch anything off the ether. Might even hear something from 1927, but probably not. Well, there's something. <laughs> it sounds like FM. Tune the detector, get some distortion depending where you tune it. So that's what a 1927 radio sounds like on a 1920, 1917 station. 2017. Oh, I buggered that. Well, that's what a 1927 radio sounds on a station in 2017. Look, even the output valve's wobbling with the, with the beat. On DAB Plus, 1377am and online, Melbourne's classic rock radio. if we can get another station. Very good morning to you. Always a pleasure having a chat to you. Uh, tonight, 1323.55. Absolutely spring racing. RSN 927. 3, 5 and 1, the numbers on the opener of Windsor. 3, Motown, Mick, the winner.
in a Oh, that's the, uh, the station mm -hmm. formerly known as 3LO. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, um, Tim from Darwin. Hello, Tim. Hello. Hi. Wind up the regeneration. See if we can get some DX. We've, we've heard the local stations. I think you've got hang on. I think we've got China. Well, it's taken a bit of time and effort. <laughs> Must have been rather hard to get DX stations back in the 20s. But what we've got here is a station on 1359, and it's two channels down from 1377, which is a 5 kilowatt station about 15 kilometres up the road. It's running 18 kilohertz bandwidth, 9 kilohertz audio of, uh, of compressed uh, classic rock, which you heard earlier on. And we're able to separate that. This station is, um, it hasn't got AGC, this radio, of course. So it's fading up and down, but that is a clear channel. Two channels down from that uh, station just up the road. And uh, that's pretty amazing, really, with um, just the straight set and regeneration. You can hear it coming in there. There's a sweet spot on the regeneration. If you turn off the regeneration, you just get uh, 3 MP. And you turn up the regeneration. Too much and it goes berserk. They're faded right out now. But you can still hear that the carrier is there. Although people at the time thought wireless was so complex, the circuits were very simple. Two RF stages, a regenerative detector, and two audio stages, transformer coupled, and the power supply all from batteries. This was a custom-made set by an engineer, Ernest Schultz. He certainly knew what he was doing because this set is better built than most commercial sets of the time. I picked it up very cheaply, as the interest in these sort of things has certainly diminished over time. Mr. Schultz knew what he was doing. All the stages are isolated and it's sort of like a copper chassis on wood. All the coils are individually shielded. Three F.O. Melbourne, if you stand by for half an hour, the studio orchestra will tune up. <laughs> We are now to have a song by Misconstrued. There's wobbly valve suspension, so the valves don't cause microphonics. This is a Neutrodyne set and has neutralizing capacitors to stabilize the triode tubes in the RF amplifier stages. This tube is the detector, and we see there the grid leak, which is the bias for the tube and a capacitor there. There's really not much in these sets. This is the output stage, the driver and the output valve. The output has a massive power of 200 milliwatts and the driver transformer and plate output transformer or the speaker transformer I suppose. These were meant to run with a horn or one of those funny cone speakers they had in the 1920s. This is the capacitor for regeneration on the detector.
All the components are original, including the hookup wire. 3LO Melbourne, we have had numerous complaints about interruption by Morse. We cannot, of course, entirely eliminate this, so the studio orchestra will play something that fits in. The Whoop Whoop Brass Face Band will now play. Three OL Melbourne. We are now crossing over to the Salvation Army, where Commissioner Peace will give us a little talk on brotherly love. We are now crossing over to the Commission on Immigration so that you may hear the speeches. Some prefer uh, white Australia, some prefer uh, uh, black Australia. Personal, person, personally, I like a drop of black and white. The L. O. Melbourne, weather report. It will be dry over the whole of the continent, except at the Commission on Immigration. 3 L.O. Melbourne, the time is now 27 minutes past 12. I made this 100 volt battery pack, and maybe Mr. Edison is right. You don't get a shock from DC. 3 L.O. Melbourne, closing down. Good night, everybody, and go to sleep. <laughs> Last train in again.